All right, guys. Emergency meeting. I gotta, I gotta talk about this topic because I see it a lot with new companies. Uh, some companies that I've spoken to in the past, they need, they want marketing. I wouldn't say they need marketing. They want marketing when their business is slow. This is not the time for you to do marketing because you're in a rush. You're looking for results uh, three days after the marketing has started. The way you have to think about marketing is branding. You don't just see an ad, and I've mentioned this to countless people. You just don't you don't see an ad on Facebook or Google and imme immediately buy from that. Just just from the ad, no research, no anything. So you cannot just start marketing ex and expect results like like that, like super fast. It's just not doable if there are people that promise you that they can get you so and so amount of leads in a certain amount of time you, sh you should probably be suspicious so examples that i've used uh, in previous conversations that i've had with people is whenever if you ever get into an accident and you want a lawyer to represent you who are you going to call like if you have to think of companies that can represent you in a, in a car accident. Who do you think of? People you've heard on the radio, the person you've heard for years, uh, the Texas Hammer, uh, Brian Longcar. Those are people that you remember because they've promoted for such a long time, then it's just engraved in your head. Even if you've never been on an accident, you know these people. and that's what marketing is is your branding for a long period of time so when the time comes that someone's looking for a service that you provide you're the first person that comes to mind so you can't just start marketing uh, on monday and expect results by friday so don't waste your money if you're needing quick results especially if you're let's say it's a new website you still have to create the website Get it registered on Google, do SEO. And if you don't know about SEO, SEO takes a long time to, to do something for you organically. You can do paid ads and be the very first person on Google, but to do natural SEO, that takes a long time. There's a, a software that I use called SEMrush. You can go to any website and see if you, if you find a good website, you can see the chart over like the past five years. And if they're doing SEO correctly, you can see the small growth over time and then it spikes. And if you aren't able to invest in marketing for long term, you should not be investing in marketing. This is not something that you can get a quick turnaround where business is slow. So you need to do something to, to gain some business. Unless you're doing something completely different compared to everybody else, as far as your business, then you might have a chance because if it's a new product that's launching that a lot of people would like, then yeah, you, you might get lucky and you, you might get customers. But if it's something where a lot of people are in that space, it is going to be pretty hard to compete, especially let's say the roofing industry. There are so many roofers in Texas. It's crazy. Like if you thought there were a lot of Zumba locations or McDonald's, there are a lot of roofing companies in Texas alone. Cause Texas, you don't need a license to be a roofer. So tomorrow I can wake up and be like, Hey guys, I opened up a roofing company and I'd be set. Everything would be legal. So marketing, do not look for a marketer if you're in a crunch because you're going to waste more money, which is the first obvious problem and you're not going to get real results. So you're going to lose out on money and then you're going to have a bad taste in your mouth with uh, marketing. So marketing in general, the uh, many of the clients that I've spoken to in the past that are current clients, they've had plenty of bad experience with marketers where they promised them they would have 20 leads per month. And all that sounds good because you're desperate to get some leads in. So you're going to believe them. And if the price is cheap enough, you're going to go for it. And then you just lost out on $500,000 for that month and didn't get anything. So now you're even more negative into the hole. So 
do not trust anyone that says that they can get you results in a month which far exceeds what you've been getting for the last three to six months it is not possible no one's gonna buy a product just because they saw an ad so recap if you are in a crunch if your business is slow do not hire marketing the best time for you to hire a marketer is when your business is good because when your business is good then you're set you can brand you can test out new ads you can test out new products and then you have space to adjust if you're in a crunch you're not able to do that you need money like last week so for them to promise you that they're going to get you results within a week week impossible impossible and then you're going to get a bad taste in your mouth and you're going to think all marketers are scammers so don't do it guys it's it's pretty easy i've told this to countless people people don't buy products just based on their ads especially if it's a big ticket item people are going to do their research the same way you would do the research i would do the research you look at reviews you look at what other people are talking about you look at pictures you you do your research i i did my research when i was buying couches for the studio i was like what's the measurement what's the people what are the people talking about that previously purchased it is it a good material all these things and that was for a couch so now if you're trying to sell um, a roof or epoxy hopefully i said it right sorry if i messed it up if you do lawn care everything these are bigger ticket items than the couch from Amazon. And I did my research for a couch. So, and I did see bad reviews and then I just didn't buy it. Like, and, and obviously ads popped up on my feed for couches and think different things that I was looking for, but ads don't do anything. Ads are just there to show you like, Hey, we're here too. But after there you, you're like, Hey, we're here to buy from us they'll go to your page they're gonna do research so don't do it if you're in a time crunch ads are not gonna work that fast your brandy's not gonna work that fast you need people to know like hey we've been here for a while you can trust us look at what everybody else is saying about us look at the previous products that we sold to so and so and they loved it you can show returning customers you can do a lot of things but that takes time it, it is not gonna happen in a month so think about the market that you're in. If it's oversaturated, it's gonna take you longer to be able to do this. So that's the tip of the day. If you're in a time crunch, do not start marketing. It is not, obviously everybody wants to take your money, but this is not the right time for you to do marketing. So think about it. Do not spend your money if you are in a time crunch. Build up that pipeline. I know a lot of people don't like to market because many things that I've heard was, I just work off referrals. Someone referred me to this person, then this person referred me to this person, which is fine, but you're only gonna reach, you know, those small amounts of people. If your do business is doing good, run some ads, do some content, have someone run your uh, website for SEO updates, your social media and things like that. Because when you're good, you're not stressed. Then you can build up that pipeline so whenever it's slow season you know november december things like that you're set because you've built that pipeline where those months are no longer slow for you so yeah guys something to think about do not start marketing if you are in a time crunch start marketing when your business is good and that's that if you have any more questions inbox me comment below if you have any questions as far as marketing what you should be doing i'll give you some advice based on your industry things you could be doing if you need a more in-depth basically analysis of your business i look at all your social media profiles see how your business is doing online and i give you a full report of what you can be doing and where you're slacking so yeah guys if you need any more help let me know i'm available anytime inbox me comment send me a text uh smoke signals fax whatever you need let me know i'm here to help and that's that